Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Wow, look at this. We got a freaking construction site out here. Look at that. What do you think about this? I've never seen a bulldozer. Look at it. Look at it. He's giving her hell right now. Just pushing it all in. So we are at, we're at the farm right now. This is the land that I bought. We burned the house down. He's literally pushing everything into the house right now. Look at that thing, bro. You think the skid loader's, I want one of those. Though, that thing looks sick. You can actually get stuff done with that thing. We got a big excavator over there. He's tearing out some trees and stuff. But we just ran down here, starting to rain. We weren't even planning on filming today. Um, and then Trap Lord Jake, he was the one, We, if you guys have seen the video, I don't know how far away it would have been posted, but like we talked about dip building an actual duck pond over there and we, me and Ponzo set flags, all that video. Um, Trap Lord Jake basically was gonna help us run the bulldozers. Wow, it is freezing and raining on here. He was gonna help us run the bulldozers and excavators and build a duck pond. And he literally called me 30 minutes ago and he's like, yeah, all the equipment's ready to rock and roll because they had it, already had it down here working on like the levee and stuff. And since it's raining, I'm guessing that they didn't have like any other real projects to do. So they wanted to knock out my project today since it was convenient. So Pool Jet and I, we ran down here and they're already they're already getting after it. They're giving, he's giving her hell out there, just ripping around. So we just, we came down here literally just to watch these guys move some dirt. This is freaking absolutely sick. And then hopefully if this rain holds off long enough, I mean, it is just misting and gross and cold and freezing. We're gonna get started on the duck pond. So we're gonna be building a duck hunting pond at the farm. Since the farm didn't flood this year, luckily, but on the bad side for the duck hunting thing is there's a lot less water. This time last year, this literally had like four feet of water where we're standing. So you could duck hunt anywhere you wanted in the duck hunting was fire if you guys saw those videos. But this year it's all dry which is where it's supposed to be so we're going to take some low-lying ground that i have on this property and try to build a duck pond but for now you guys get to enjoy some uh well little time lapse action of look at buddy he's just freaking killing it dude i want that dude the whole yes two, like two like insane. five minutes i was like oh, i got i got you know i got the skiddler i can come down and clean this up jake's like no nah, let me just bring the dozer look <laughs> look at that dude this thing is a freaking beast bro oh god you know how fast we could have uh cleared the land for that shop with that oh yeah it probably would have taken an like afternoon. Yeah. It probably would take an afternoon instead of 40 hours in the old, the old skid loader. Anyways, we're gonna set up the old time lapse for you guys to enjoy, and then hopefully, like I said, if this rain holds off long enough, we'll get started on the duck pond. You guys stay tuned. guys i'm in like a three hundred thousand dollar uh excavator right now i don't know why jake told me i need to be in this thing but look at this they have a freaking ipad it's like a tesla look at this thing and it tells you like where you're at and i don't know what else it tells you but it's nice in here it, dude it's nice this is like a it's big it's roomy the seat is super comfortable i mean i could sit here all day long and run this thing i mean like this bucket down there that thing's massive i don't know what to do in here jake's like hey if you want to run it you can run it i don't know what to do though like i i'm just i'm just sitting here i'm, I'm honestly looking for <sighs> What should I do? Should I just scoop this up for no reason? This little burn, whatever that is? This burn box? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll, let me just scrape that up. Yeah, let's just scrape this up. We'll see what happens. I don't, it's not in backhoe. I'm all backwards. That was it. Oh yeah. Daddy's at home now. That's ISO, that's a real man. This is? Yeah. Is this what I use or no? Yeah. Oh, I'm used to this. Yeah, that's normal. Oh, this is? Yeah. So do I run mine in normal? Yeah. Oh, no, this is this is, this is normal. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. What? I thought I ran it back up. I don't even know what... Oh, that's, that's backwards. That's my hands. All right. Pop is ready.
when you're doing stuff you like feel the resistance this thing is absolutely indestructible it's nice because like it's the same controls it's just on a larger larger scale things kind of scares me because it's worth more than my life here this thing's freaking dope just to give you guys perspective here this is how big we're talking the camera does not do this thing justice this look i could but me and bonds could live in here like this is, this thing is absolutely massive. I feel like I need one of these. What do you think of the big investment? I mean, I've used my mini like twice. So I feel like I could use a big one like two more times. <laughs> Probably not a good investment. Dude, you know how big of a pond you could dig with this though? We're digging like 10 by 10s with the mini. This thing could be like 100 by 100. Absolute giant. I kind of want to rip out this tree, but I'm worried I'm going to break the, uh... yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. That's probably a little bit. That one's a little That's above close. my pay grade, I feel like. I think that probably wouldn't be probably wouldn't be good um anyways there you have it there if you guys ever wanted to see me run a super expensive piece of machinery there you have it and uh jake wants me to drive the bulldozer i'm not too sure about it you guys stay tuned all right how do you work this thing mister uh, this is your d-cell that's the what d-cell d-cell what's a d-cell <laughs> i know a lot blade okay up down side side yeah. Here's your forward reverse. Okay. You go to back up. Like you're going forward right now. See what I'm saying? Wait, say, say that one more time. What? what do you do with that? This is D cell. So, like, if you're going forward and you're yeah. getting ready, you throw this in reverse. Okay. You'll hit that. Let it out and run. Oh, okay. It's like shift to shift, basically. Seemed easy enough. I don't know how this feels gonna go. You guys stay tuned. Did I miss something? Put this break. I'm like, it ain't going. That's gotta go up. What's going on? Don't you just push this in forward? Turn and push that way. Yeah, I'll push that way, and then we'll put them up on the mountain. Better I'll move. You better move your truck. not bad jake's gonna get in here and show us what's what how it's done because I, I yeah no bulldozers are not my thing no Listen, all right, I am not a bulldozer operator. Excavator, eh, not that, well, not one of them either, but I'm better with the excavator than I am with the bulldozer. As you guys see, Jake absolutely tears it up. I mean, he's clearing everything out, it's looking good, but he's about to start on the actual levee itself. Him and I kind of discussed it, we kind of got a game plan, and we're gonna start building up this levee to build a prime, pristine duck hunting pond on the farm. You guys stay tuned.
Well, folks, it is the next day. And yes, you're, you're right. You saw it. I'm rocking the old, the old fromper. Farm romper, for those of you guys that don't know. Lucy, what do you think? You gotta stay here, buddy. Look how cute she is. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're so cute. You're just so cute. I know. But what we are gonna do today is we gotta go check on the progress on the duck pond. Jake called me last night and said they pretty much got it done. Can you believe that? They got it done in like one afternoon. Dudes are absolute freaking beasts with the old uh, bulldozer. I'm not, uh, as you guys saw. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take my skid loader, try to load it up in here. That'll be interesting. I haven't loaded it up in this. That's why I pretty much got this dump trailer was for doing work like we're about to do. And uh, because he said there was a couple wet spots that he couldn't get the bulldozer that he thinks my skid loader would go in just fine. And so we're gonna load up the skid loader and take it to the farm. And it'll probably end up sitting there for a few days because we wanna try to like chip away and finish this duck pond. We gotta kinda finish the part that he couldn't get to. At some point we need to drop a pipe in there um, with the hatches to like let the water in, let the water out, bury that. And then we also need to pack down the entire levee and then we got to seed it with grass so we're not gonna get that all done today or even in this video but the goal today would be just to get as close as we can to finish the actual circle ring and kind of get a gauge on what our next step is in order to make this a duck hunting honey hole so with that being said i'm gonna try to load the skid loader up in this <sighs> wish me luck oh cheese and rice this is fancy lucy better watch out we're getting serious felt better the problem is i can't do it by myself no i couldn't see anything like you could have had me sailing off the narnia and i wouldn't have known the difference the front game scares me so i went the back game getting it off won't be bad and you teeter-totter when i teeter-totter i just let go and i was like oh god take me now this is not good <laughs> but listen we got her in she's loaded i don't like that at all we we were i really just need to get a, a cargo trailer even though it sucks. yeah a tilt if i really want to do this because i couldn't do this by myself no. i would have i would have just chicken out i would have drove this thing home but anyways we got it loaded up see you guys at the farm Shoo! She's loaded up there, folks. We got her all strapped down, ocean approved. <sighs> I hate this. It, it, like, that was almost an hour. Like, I mean, that it also included, I guess, we unloaded. Probably, I would say start to finish loading and strapping down at least 30 minutes. Like, it's just so, you feel like you're moving so slow when you're doing it. It just, ugh, ugh. Frustrating. Anyways, we got it loaded up. We're gonna head out. We gotta get some fuel, get some lunch, and we're excited to see the new duck pond. See you guys at the farm. Shoo! Well, we made it, folks. Bonzo. Bonzo's gonna be on... You threw my wiener. You almost hit me in the face through your wiener. You eat, take that wiener. Bonzo's gonna be fishing with the wiener here soon. The skid loader is a one man deal. We're gonna set up a time lapse for you guys. Well, after we go look at it, obviously. While I'm moving dirt, Bonzo's gonna be on dangle slash wiener duty. He's gonna try to catch some, you know, some bullheads, cause why not? That sounds like a good time. But, um, you know, I would say probably not the best idea to back it in, just cause giving it, um, well, you guys can probably, you guys can probably tell what's going on there. She's giving it a little saggage, cause all the weight's in the back. But going forward, I thought I was gonna flip it. So either way, we got the ramps down. We're gonna try to unload this thing. Hopefully I never have to load it back up ever again. We need to get a different trailer, cause I suck at using this one. Anyways, stay tuned. <laughs>
How did it look? Oh, like half your tracks running on the ground and then just boom. I was just nose. See, I'd rather be nose diving than back diving because nose diving, you'll catch yourself with the old bucket. Back diving, well, you're just gonna see the stars and that'll probably be the end of it. See the white, bright light and it's all over for you. You know what I mean? How's the trailer? Those things bend very much when I was on it, but like these? No. no. Did, they, did they like flex at all? No. See these, that's that's a clutch dish right there. I mean, unloading's easy. Loading, not a fan. Yeah, stuff all over your face. What do I have? Grease. Is it white? <laughs> no, it's not white. Turn the camera off right now. <laughs> Shoo! Look at Bonzo. Looking good. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You guys saw some of it on the time lapse, not the entire thing. You guys saw most of that. But this entire thing stretches all the way around. So there's a gap right there, like right at the edge. And that's where I'm going to take the old skid today and see if I can get, if I can basically build the same thing, but over there to, to almost finish the pond. We're going to leave a little bit uh, for when we want to come bury a tube in here. What do you think? What are, the, what are them tracks out there? See something walking out there? But it's the old coyote. It looks pretty fresh. But you can see, I mean, we're up quite a ways. I mean, how, you think it's probably, what, five foot at least? At least. I mean, this is this is going to hold some water. Give it one of them. See? You guys are up there. Yes, yeah, so I was going to come investigate these tracks. See what, see what's been meandering. I'm guessing it's the old coyote. But, uh, yeah, see, it's still, it's soft. This is why you got to bring the old skid and not the, the old dozer. Dozer's a little bit heavy. Over here, it looks like something's been walking. I have no idea what these are. They don't have any prints. There's no print. It's just a indent like uh you know what i mean so anyways with that being said i'm going to uh get in the old skid and drive it over so the nice thing is a lot of this corn was saved so this is what we were talking about with the peninsula of the corn this is all corn right there you can see it growing up so that'll we're planning on leaving this so this will be cover it'll be food for the ducks all that jazz and then on this stuff we want to plant the millet and so i think i think it looks pretty good like, the, like i said the corn is actually popping through here so we'll have a nice big patch of corn right here and then rest will be millet and then it'll be flooded we're gonna have probably standing here maybe knee deep water we're not really sure how deep it is gonna end up being um anyways enough talking you guys kind of get to see it a little bit you guys saw a little bit of the uh the old time lapse work but we're gonna get started getting the old skid and try to get this duck pond finished today hopefully at least really close to being finished you guys stay tuned Well, folks, apparently Bonzo sucks at catfishing. He didn't catch nothing. He tried a bunch of different spots. I got about halfway done, well, not halfway done, halfway across, and I got stuck a handful of times, um, but I was able to get myself out, um, except for this time. We got, uh, yeah, we got stuck. Look at this stuff. I mean, this is this is not ideal, folks. Look at this. Look at this. Look how soft this is. Just walking. Look at what Dingus did. That's me. I'm Dingus. I got it completely buried, stuck. What was dumb is I initially realized I was screwed when I got to about here. So I tried to back up there, but since it's a hill, it like just buried this side of the track and I was unable to turn and I used, you can see all these slices. I used the bucket to get myself out just like it did in 10 other times over there. The problem was it kept turning me towards that, which that is the water. And uh, yeah, she's stuck. She is stuck. Good. Um, So I called, <laughs> I called Jake and I said, hey, guess what? And he goes, you're stuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're right big shocker it's just i was what i was trying to do is so i started over there and i've been building it to about here you can see it and so i had to come through here i was like well why don't i just start building it from here because right now i'm in the middle of the water and this is honestly pretty hard this is this right here is what i thought was over there apparently this right here like where the grass is growing then it gets soft you can see it's soft i made a lack of judgment i should have cut it here i accidentally cut it there and well, i made a mess my thought was though is i could just start from this side and work my way out that way i don't have to play in the water quite as much over there but I'm stuck. So he's going to bring out the old, well, the excavator's here, um, but he's going to come out and run it and help me just so I don't break his equipment. Um, last thing I want to do is bury a $300,000 machine, but you can see we're getting some progress made. I mean, it's, it's looking pretty good. I did get stuck right here. It just needs to be built up. So I'm working on basically, this is just a road at this point. It's not even a levee. I'm going to try to build a road that connects from there to there. And then I'm going to have to bring in dirt and build it all the way up to the point where it, you know, it matches everywhere 
else. But uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's one of them things, folks. Freaking sucks. Hopefully we'll get out. Honestly, I'm stuck in a good spot. Cause if I got stuck here, the excavator, I mean, if you snuck the excavator right here, you maybe could throw a chain and drag it. But at least we'll be able to get the excavator really close to that. So we should be able to drag it out. Hopefully no problem. I mean, this is like totally different than getting a four wheeler stuck or a truck stuck. That thing weighs 10,000 pounds. So it's a little bit different. Luckily the big, if this big equipment was not here, which it's normally not, like it's literally just here for this job and then it's gonna leave really soon. I would be completely screwed right now because there's not really any equipment on the farm right now that could pull this thing out without getting itself stuck. You gotta get something with an arm to go out and grab it like the big excavator. So anyways, we're gonna wait for Jake. He said he'll probably be 15, 20 minutes or so. And then I need to get out and not get stuck again. I'm really hoping I don't get stuck again, but we've made progress in, you know, maybe a couple hours it's been. Made some progress. I'm still not sure about how I wanna do all of this with like the pipe. I'm kind of scrapping the pipe idea for right now just to establish the road because ideally you're going to want the pipe to flow like out to that basically there's the lake over there but we're not close enough to it like we probably should have ran the levee up and around instead i cut it right through here it might have just not been a good idea to do that maybe i mean jake might be like why'd you build it right here why didn't you go around so that way the pipe could be right there i have no idea what i was thinking i just i initially thought connect a to b but i didn't really think about extending it around so I don't know, we'll see what Jake says when he gets here. Either way, right now, my skid loader is stuck. Oh, Jake's here. He's gonna save the day. I don't know how that's gonna work. I said something about grabbing on the bucket, but I don't have a tripod, so I'm gonna try to sit you guys. I don't know where I'm gonna put you guys so you can see. Probably up on a rock or something. goes got her out that's pretty neat uh i'm gonna try not to do that again so uh he was kind of giving me some tips on where i should start building he said i should not build not continue where i'm going there because i've already robbed so much dirt um he's thinking i should start robbing dirt from here and building this way which is actually where i was trying to do before i got stuck so anyways enjoy the rest of the time with us Well, folks, cheese and freaking rice. That is a lot of work, but we're pretty much there. We got a little bit left, but what I did was I, I blew out this dam and made a ramp. And so this ramp is going to allow me to rob dirt from over there, which is all the dry ground, because that I pretty much picked apart to where I was almost getting stuck when I was going over there just to get dirt. I was end up having to go way over there to come here versus just come right here and here. So I still have some more work to do, but I am going to wrap this video up today because you guys get the gist of it. I mean, from here, actually, you can see it really well all the way around. And I connected the dam. I've never done that before. I've never like tried to build a pond dam which is essentially what i did like it's all gonna flow this way but in order for it to come out it's gonna come out this way so this is the dam so it's probably a good thing that i, I packed it in i mean this is basically as good as concrete right here because i was going over it you guys saw how often i went over it i mean it was constant this is all packed in versus the rest of this is not really that packed in it's just sitting there so we're gonna let it rain and like it's supposed to rain tomorrow that's mainly why i came out here today um we'll see i don't know if i'm gonna have to pack it in like this in order for it to hold water i'm hoping it'll just kind of self-settle i don't know if that's actually going to be a thing or not but for today i i'm happy with it i am i'm happy with it because like i said we've got we, we basically sealed it off this was the the sealant that little stretch i mean i would say that's probably 40 yards 50 yards and that took me about five hours versus jake did the entire thing in about five freaking hours that's the difference between a skid loader and a bulldozer also that's the difference between packing it in and just pushing it up but 
that being said, like the bulldozer, without the bulldozer, I, I would literally be like turning that corner and then I would still have the rest of this. So huge shout out to Jake for helping me out with this. Without him, it, it just would not have happened. There's just no possible chance. Plus he pulled me out. So I, I really, really wouldn't happen because I would have just had a nice lawn ornament sitting there called the called the skill loader. But like I said, this pond dam, it's, it's, not, it's I mean, this is like, it's solid. This whole thing is super solid. There's a couple low spots, but it's definitely built up high enough to where if this water rises a little bit, um, I think we'll be okay. But the goal is going to be to pump water from there to here, which we'll probably end up doing that over there because we're closer. This is kind of a decent gap here. Anyways, I'm babbling. This is the new duck pond, folks. Okay, this isn't going to be the end of what you see. Um, after even after we kind of finish all of this, and I, cause I probably should build this up just a little bit more. This is only, I mean, this might only hold maybe a foot of water. Maybe I probably need to build it up to even it out with everything else but even that we're not done because i want to plant some more corn in here right now there's only a little bit over there i'd like to get some more maybe over there and then honestly i probably need to come out and grade all this flatten it because i where i robbed all that dirt i made it look like a bag of wieners flatten all that out and then we're going to plant japanese millet and then it's going to grow and then we got to flood it so there's a few more steps it's a lot of work for killing some freaking ducks folks but I'm hoping it's worth it. I've never done this before. It's something I've always wanted. I've always wanted to manage a piece of property land for ducks. A lot of people manage stuff for deer. I don't know deer as well as I know ducks. I've duck hunted my entire life. I've deer hunted like twice and killed like two deer, basically. I don't really know much about deer hunting, but duck hunting, I'm trying to kind of learn and see. Hopefully, um, hopefully it works. Cause like I said, this is a pretty, pretty perfect spot. Cause you can't, the Kyle really couldn't even plant much corn in here. Like I said, they got a strip. So we didn't take away any good farmland. So we're still going to be able to, you know, harvest the corn and stuff out of here. Um, but we're going to try to make a nice little waterfowl sanctuary, but I'm gonna, I'll probably end up leaving the skid loader here for the next week. It's supposed to rain for pretty much the next week. Um, so we'll kind of see what that does to this. I'm a, I'm slightly concerned if we get some really heavy rains that it's going to erode all of this. Cause it, ideally you'd probably want to pack this down and plant grass that's how you prevent erosion but there's just no shot no chop we're doing that before it rains so praying that uh the rain doesn't really mess up our whole levy job here but we'll see we'll keep you guys tuned in if you guys like these types of videos this land management stuff let me know because i want to manage some other properties for deer um and, and other animals and stuff like that maybe even other some duck properties and stuff like that so if you guys enjoy this i know it's literally just time lapses people moving dirt but that's essentially what it is it's just i'm showing you guys the reality of it you guys want to build a duck pond that's pretty much all it is you got to move some dirt anyways hope you guys do today Today's video really do appreciate you guys tuning in thank you guys so much for watching and peace